What's up you guys and welcome to Tanksley TV. This is me, That Chick Angel, and today, if you're coming over here from That Chick Angel TV, you saw I did a brand deal with Cricut where we did a um, room reveal for Mars Room. Well, I wanted to be able to actually break down where we got everything just in case there was something that you thought was cute that you wanted to try out. Um, so, here we go. So, the crib um, we got from Walmart. I do not like the concept of spending a lot of money on children's furniture just because, um, why? That's me. Why? I spent $139 on this crib. Um, it's a convertible crib. I think it's a six in one, so it continue to like um, grow with him. But I wasn't about to spend five hundred, six hundred dollars on his crib, especially because there's a good chance that we'll have this until he's like five, and then I'm gonna want to switch the bed. Like, so why spend a lot of money now? I ain't doing it. Okay. Um, I also got the bedding from Walmart. That didn't really go with the theme, but I got it anyways because I was just like, we need something to put on his bed. Now the dresser, I got from a place in Los Angeles that is like uh, independently owned, so I don't have a lot of information on that, but I have bought three. This is when we lived at our old house. I bought the twins and little Marcus, all identical dressers. So uh, Amar got uh, little Marcus's old dresser. And I think I paid a little over, I think I made it paid like either a little over 100 or 199 for each dresser. I know I didn't pay over $200 for each of the dressers. Now, the zigzag bookshelf we got from Wayfair for $79.99. I should probably mention that we or I decided to get all of this Kind of design from a website called Havenly. So I worked with a designer. Her name was Princess, black woman. She took my inspiration and concepts and turned them into what the room looks like now. I gave her a lot of um, liberties. Um, she kind of, she knew I wanted something colorful, playful. Once she knew I had boys, that kind of helped direct it. And I wanted some things to have a bit of like an afrocentricness to it right so not a lot of like oh shapes eh. you know i wanted this is a black family and i wanted that reflected in some of the choices that we made so anyways the zigzag corner wall shelf i wanted something that was a bookshelf but that amar couldn't pull over and couldn't pull all the stuff off of because that is his mo right now if he sees stuff organized, he's like, let's tear it apart. That's from Wayfair for $79.99. Um, <clears throat> the rocking chair that I'm sitting in now is also from Wayfair. It's the Cormac rocking chair. <coughs> this was a little bit more pricier. This was $229.99. And let me tell you, it is gorgeous, but it's not very comfortable which I don't mind because he's not a nursing child, so I'm not gonna be trying to sit in this chair for a very long time to nurse him, but I might need it because he this will be his first time sleeping in his own room. So this is gonna be for me when I'm trying to possibly rock him to sleep or just being in here with him. And the older boys can also sit in this chair when they're watching TV because we are gonna mount a TV in here for this to be there. The rug, which I absolutely love, which tied in all the colors. I could not find the exact rug anywhere, but I do believe this rug also came from Wayfair. It is called the Harput Area Rug. I spent $157.25 on this rug. Um, and when I type in Harput Area Rug, a lot of other gorgeous rugs pop up. So even if this is not the exact design that you would want, there's some really pretty rugs out there um, with that name on it. Now, the Softscape Dewdrop Standard Bean Bag that I got in teal. I wanted a bean bag. I'm probably going to put a bean bag in little Marcus's room. I just think it's very age appropriate, and I know the boys will have fun on it. Um, also, a Wayfair purchase. It was $89.99. They're having a sale on it now, so it is um, cheaper currently, and they have it in all different colors in different fabrics. That's a faux leather. They have one that's a denim. 
Um, I didn't think the denim, that was one of the materials she suggested. I didn't really think it went with the room, so um, I decided to go with the faux leather. The curtains, these are blackout curtains, even though I just don't feel like they really, really be blacking out anything. I got from Walmart. That was one thing that I just didn't feel like the designer could get right what I really wanted. Um, so I got teal blackout curtains. We're still also going to have blinds behind the curtains. But um, Amar, he does not sleep if there is light anywhere. So like I can't be like, oh, I'm going to watch TV while I put you to sleep. Mm -mm. He will stay awake and he will stay awake past me staying awake. So we need to kind of like take all of the light out of the room. So I got those from Walmart um, and they were $16.10 per panel. Then I got the gold rod that holds heavy weighted fabric. Usually I be getting the cheapest, the $5 rod that be like the white that bends and it just kind of latches on to the, that's what I normally get, <laughs> but I spent a little more money this time and got a gold uh, curtain rod for $59.88. Now, in the original brand deal video where I cut Amar's letters from the Cricut, those letters were just way too small for this wall. We'll probably use them elsewhere, like in his closet or in his bathroom, but we removed those from above his bed because this is the tallest ceilings we've ever had in rooms, so we needed something way bigger. So I went to Joann's and got their 23 and a half inch paper mache letters and um, attach those to the wall. We used um, spray paint to paint them teal and added a little uh, teal shimmer to it. Um, and the letters on Joann's website are $7.49. In store, they're $9.99, but they always have coupons. Um, so I actually got those same letters for Kai and Sai's room and we spray painted them orange. But we'll eventually do a room reveal for their room as well. I got this um, lamp that kind of also pulls in all of the colors from Lamps Plus, which is where we also got all of the lighting fixtures that are in this room because we hated what was here before. So we added two flush mount lights, like circular lights. Um, and then we added a fan that also has a circular light in the middle. Um, they the fan actually was the only one purchased at Lamps Plus, but and I don't remember the price, and I'll try to remember to put the link because I forgot to pull the link right now. Um, but the circular flush mount lights, I do believe Marcus got from either Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember, but the the same um, configuration will be in all three of the boys' room: two flush mount circular lights, and then the white three blade fan. Um, which has a remote control, which is great. But the lamp that I got for Amar was $35 on their clearance floor. I also got the teal pillow that I put currently in his bed for decor there from their clearance uh, for, I do believe it was like $14. Um, last but not least, I got, oh, it's not even last. There's a gold a uh, plush circular pillow that I got from Elm West for $17.50. And now, last but not least, I got his little chair. It's a Geo Block Nod chair from Crate and Barrel. It was $89.99. And this, I picked, um, they have different slip covers. I picked the one that looks a little more, had a little more ethnicity to it. So that's the one I picked um, for it and also brought in the colors of the room. And I almost forgot, like my favorite part of this room are the art pieces that I picked. Both of these are from Etsy. I will link you all to the two different artists. Now this is the one thing I'll say about Havenly. Oh, and I have some also, uh, another wall art that's from uh, Wayfair that says boys only. It's cute, it's not like, oh my God, but these other pieces of art, I'm in love with. Now, I picked my designer purposefully on Wayfair. I knew I wanted to work with a black woman. I wanted to support a black designer. Not to say that all the designers aren't amazing, but I purposefully wanted to support a black designer. Let me tell you the blessing in that. The way Havenly works is that they can only recommend things to you that are on the Havenly website. So whoever they're partnered with, they're partnered with Walmart, they're partnered with Wayfair, obviously, Crate and Barrel, West Elm, um, I 
think they also partner with Lowe's. They have a lot of vendors that they partner with, but when it comes to wanting art that is um, black-centered, Afrocentric, the pickings are very slim. The designer emailed me directly after the project was over and sent me some links to Etsy artists that she felt like would fit the aesthetic of what I was going for. And she was absolutely right. So I ordered directly from these artists and that's how I got the geometric shape um, patterned animals that I was able to put on the wall. So it's not just the regular like Noah's Ark and two by two. Like these are like, these are very stunning to me and um, stand out in a way that I usually don't see in a like nursery or young kids room. And then obviously my favorite, my favorite, my favorite is the four black boys laughing. Y'all know I have four beautiful black sons. And so this painting was just like breathtaking to me because it represents so much of what I'm trying to provide in their life. Just a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And I hope that as we continue to make this house into a home, that's what they feel. All right, if you all have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Again, I'm trying to leave all the links for you guys so you all don't have to like hunt anything down. You'll be able to find it. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, let me know that too. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe to Tanksley TV and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.